Welcome to our interactive session on the foundational concepts of stimulus and stimulus class. In the realm of applied behavior, analysis, and psychology, whether you're a student, a professional in the field, or someone interested in the science of behavior, understanding these concepts is crucial for analyzing how behaviors are influenced and how we can effectively modify them. A stimulus is any event, object, or signal in the environment or within the organism that can influence behavior. It is a specific piece of information that can be sensed and responded to. Stimuli can be either internal thoughts, feelings, or external sounds, visual cues. Let's look examples of stimulus. External stimulus, the sound of a fire alarm, which may prompt individuals to exit a building. Internal stimulus, feeling of hunger, which may lead someone to seek out food. A stimulus class refers to a group of stimuli that share common characteristics or effects and tend to evoke similar responses. These classes can be formed based on various criteria, including physical features, function, timing relative to behavior, or through arbitrary associations learned over time. Formal stimulus class is characterized by physical features or properties. 1. All red objects, red apples, red cars, red stop signs can form a stimulus class because they share the color red. 2. Sound frequency dog whistles and sirens that operate at a high frequency perceivable by dogs, but not by most humans, form a formal stimulus class based on the physical characteristic of sound frequency. 3. Texture objects with a smooth texture, such as a polished stone, glass, surfaces, and ice, can be grouped into a formal stimulus class because they share the tactile property of smoothness. Functional stimulus class is defined by the effect or function they have on behavior rather than physical characteristics. 1. Different words or phrases that can all be used to request help. Can you help me? I need assistance. A hand raised despite their topographical differences. 2. Reinforcers for good behavior verbal praise. Good job. High fives and stickers given for positive behavior in a classroom setting can form a functional stimulus class as they all serve the function of reinforcing good behavior. 3. Warnings of flashing yellow traffic light, a caution sign, and a verbal, be careful, warning can all belong to the same functional stimulus class as they serve to caution or alert individuals to potential dangers or the need for attention. Temporal stimulus class is grouped by their timing in relation to behavior or other events. 1. An example would be antecedent stimuli that signal the availability of reinforcement for a certain behavior, such as a green traffic light indicating it's safe to cross the street. 2. Bedtime cues the dimming of lights, putting on pajamas, and reading a bedtime story serve as a temporal stimulus class signaling that it's time to go to sleep for young children. 3. Start of a work shift clocking in on a time card system. Turning on a workstation and a morning briefing email can form a temporal stimulus class, indicating the beginning of a work shift. Arbitrary stimulus class is stimuli grouped together based on learned associations, regardless of physical similarity. 1. Words that signify peace in different languages, peace in English, paz in Spanish, peaks in French form. An arbitrary stimulus class because they have been arbitrarily associated with the concept of peace through language learning. 2. Symbols of authority different uniforms police, military, security guards represent authority and can form an arbitrary stimulus class through societal learning, despite their physical differences. 3. Money Various forms of currency coins, paper bills. Digital transactions are perceived as having value and can be used for purchases. They form an arbitrary stimulus class 
through the learned association of representing monetary value, even though they differ significantly in physical form. Let's practice with some mock exams to understand better. Mock exam 1. A teacher uses a variety of objects to teach shapes to preschool children, including a round clock, a circular plate, and a ball. Which stimulus class do these objects belong to? 1. Formal stimulus class. 2. Functional stimulus class. 3. Temporal stimulus class. 4. Arbitrary stimulus class. Correct answer is 1. Formal stimulus class. These objects belong to the formal stimulus class because they are grouped based on their physical shape circular, which is a perceptual property. Mock exam 2. To encourage a child's quiet behavior during story time, a teacher might use verbal praise, stickers, or a thumbs up. Which stimulus class do these reinforcers belong to? 1. Formal stimulus class. 2. Functional stimulus class. 3. Temporal stimulus class. 4. Arbitrary stimulus class. Correct answer is 2. Functional stimulus class. These reinforcers belong to the functional stimulus class because they serve the same function of encouraging quiet behavior despite their different forms. Mock exam 3. A student begins to pack up their backpack when they see most classmates doing so, and the teacher stands by the door, signals that class is about to end. Which stimulus class do these signals belong to? 1. Formal stimulus class. 2. Functional stimulus class. 3. Temporal stimulus class. 4. Arbitrary stimulus class. Correct answer is 3. Temporal stimulus class. These signals belong to the temporal stimulus class because they occur in relation to a specific time end of class and signal a change in behavior accordingly. Mock exam 4. In different countries, people drive on different sides of the road but still reach their destinations. Effectively driving on the right in some countries and on the left in others. Which stimulus class does this rule belong to? 1. Formal stimulus class. 2. Functional stimulus class. 3. Temporal stimulus class. 4. Arbitrary stimulus class. Correct answer is 4. Arbitrary stimulus class. The rule of which side of the road to drive on belongs to the arbitrary stimulus class because it is based on societal conventions or learned associations, rather than physical characteristics or the natural function of the behavior. Mock Exam 5. Which options contain examples from the same stimulus class? 1. A red stop sign, a green light, and a yellow caution tape. 2. Praise for sitting quietly, a sticker for completing homework, and a high five for being helpful. 3. The bell before class starts, packing up when others do, and the teacher's end of day announcement. 4. Different words for water, in various languages, symbols for peace and currency types. Correct answer is 2. Praise for sitting quietly a sticker for completing homework, and a high five for being helpful. Option 2 contains examples from the functional stimulus class, 
because all actions serve the same function of reinforcing desired behaviors. Why other choices are wrong. Options 1, 3, and 4 mix examples from different stimulus classes, formal, temporal, and arbitrary, respectively, not fitting a single defined class as neatly as option 2. Mock exam 6. Which options contain examples from the same stimulus class? 1. A circle drawn on the board, a circular plate, and a round ball. 2. Warning sounds before a test, a countdown timer for an event, and a schedule announcement. 3. Smiling when happy, frowning when sad, and laughing at a joke. 4. Money in different denominations, driving rules in various countries, and different symbols for a restroom. Correct answer is 1. A circle drawn on the board, a circular plate, and a round ball. Option 1 fits the formal stimulus class because all items share physical characteristics circular shape. Why other choices are wrong. Options 2, 3, and 4 involve temporal, functional, and arbitrary classes, but do not illustrate a coherent physical characteristic shared across examples like option 1. That wraps up our exploration for today, and I truly hope you found it insightful. If you've enjoyed unraveling the mysteries of stimulus and stimulus classes with me, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Your support means the world and helps us bring more educational content your way. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think or any questions you might have. Thanks for watching and remember every day is an opportunity to learn something new. Until next time, keep curious.